Hi, so I'm Stephanie Toman. I'm doing the final um, weekly revision exercises for advanced word. Um, and we've only got, as you can see, we're covering linking, embedding and macros. So we've only got questions 29 and 30. OK, so if I take you to the paper, this is what you should be looking at. Advanced word processing weekly revision, not pre online or anything like that, or the manual. And we're going all the way through these. There's been a lecture for each of the weeks on week revision, and we're now on the final hurdle, and we're doing 29 and 30. So let's get started. So open the Puppy Info document and resize the embedded object so that you can see the Puppy image clearly in the Word document. Break the link to the chart. Okay, so let's go and find the puppy info. It contains a link. No, I won't do it to update it. That'll be fine. Okay, so here's our puppy. Do you remember it's embedded? I can check by right clicking on it. Don't let me. There we go, I know it is. Let's double click on it. And a little bit of a wobbler. And you can do this in the exam as well, so don't worry, it can get a little bit wobbly. But as long as it comes out in the end, you're fine. And keep your head, like I said, grab it nice and firm, drag it out with your mouse and drop where you think you can see the puppy clearly. And that's it. Click out and job done. With regard to the chart, we're going to break the link. So we're going into the file. There's our links here, edit links to file. And once it comes up, that's our Excel sheet. I'm going to break the link. Yes. Back to the document and it's no longer linked. So that's that one done. Back to our question. Close that down. Nice and tidy, everything nice and tidy. Okay, final question number 30 is using the macros. So using the document review, create a macro assigned to the review file only and name it margins to change the top and bottom margins of the entire document to two centimeters. Okay, so we're looking for review, and there it is. Open that up. Remember in the exam, it's probably opened for you. Which is always nice. And um, we're going into the developer tab. Remember, if you haven't got the developer tab, file tab options, customize ribbon, and there it is. You need to tick it, make sure you can see it. So you've got record macro. We're going to record the macro called um, margins. You've got to check, haven't you, with all of the things talking about reviews and everything, it's easy. We've got to store the macro in the review doc only dot. So we've done that, easily missed in the exam. Then we're we OK, we're ready to go. There's our stop button if we need it. I'm going into layout, into margins. I've got to go into the custom margins because it's not particular layout. And it wants the top and bottom at two. So there's the top one and there's the bottom one. So easy, we're doing such a simple thing to maybe just go to the wrong ones and um, and then find yourself uh, thinking that you've done it absolutely beautifully and unfortunately you didn't. Now in the exam at this stage, if they asked you to save as macro enabled, you would just go ahead and do, sorry, do your save as. But the thing is, it's not ask us in this one. And if it doesn't ask in the exam, you just click the answer to move on. So that's the final revision. Uh, weekly revision questions for the advanced word.